All right, we're gonna talk about the anesthetic monitoring sheet 101. Ah. First half of the monitoring sheet, pretty easy to fill out. Make sure you fill out all of the uh, information that's pertinent. Dr. Reedy is a surgeon. I am the anesthetist. You need to make sure you take the pre-surgical TPR in the morning. All right, this next part. This right here, start time, this is when you pre-med your patient. Uh, pre procedure start is when Dr. Reedy does the surgery, so does her first cutting. Procedure end time is the time that the procedure is over, so after she's closed. And then anesthesia end time, that is when you turn off the vaporizer. They may be the same time as the procedure end, but uh, they may be before. Intubation time, this is when you intubate them, the time you need to write down, as well as the time you extubate. Don't forget to put the ET tube size on. All right, so we started our anesthesia at 945, so that's where I got this number right here. <clears throat> So um, 945, then it's in 15 minute increments, so 10, 10, 15, 10, 30, and so on. Well, when we start our fluid, which in this case we have LRS, uh, we want to start them on the time that we start them. So if you are starting them in the 10 block, 10 o'clock block, then you would write 20 ml up here. After the 15 minutes are up, Okay, so when you get to 10.15, you're going to check the fluid rate and you're going to write how many uh, fluids have been infused on this bottom line. If you have to give a bolus, then you would write it down here. All right, so this is just a quick look at what it kind of looks like with the other part missing. So we have uh, 9.45 at the top there, okay? So, if you notice, here is 945, 950, 955, 10 o'clock, okay? So they write on those lines. If you started, if this procedure started at 950, you could still write 945 here. You would just count two over to when you start your, um, your charting. Uh, we gave it at 9.45, but we didn't start monitoring until 9.50, so that's what this is, okay? So a little closer look at what it looks like when you are monitoring. Uh, if you see here, there's different letters and numbers and symbols. They go on the line, so when you are writing a, a heart rate, you would write it on the line. Okay, not in the center, on the line. And actually you can see trends if you really, if you are monitoring correctly, you can see trends on where things are going up and down. So the whiteboard, we have dots are for heart rate, um, pluses are for SpO2, a T is for temperature, uh, then we have some symbols for diastolic and systolic. What you really need to know is that uh, map is a written number, so you're going to write out the number 85. That's what you're going to write out on there. All right, this last part. So these are the same numbers from the top, 945, 10, okay? Notice we have some empty numbers here, which is fine because we really didn't start doing, and we didn't start in, we didn't induce, and we didn't start giving anesthesia until 10 o'clock, okay? So it's perfectly fine that that's like that. Uh, so we were doing, I can look at this and I can say, hey, we were um, in treatment. We moved to surgery, okay? We've got our oxygen. We have started to lower it because Dr. Reedy was almost finished. And then uh, she was done. And so we turned up the oxygen um, and then uh, she was extubated at 11. So that's what that's telling us. So don't forget to also write isofluorine and the minutes or that you use the isofluorine. Bye.